Thanks for coming to the channel. In today's tech news, experts warn of a Pac-Man flaw in the M1 chip that can't be patched. Did you hear me? The SOC has a patch problem. Pointer authentication attack drives the CPU crazy. Let's dive into this. While Apple's M1 processors have helped the Mac reach new performance heights, a few reports have exposed potential security issues with the SOC. The latest report comes from the MIT C cell, whose research has found a way to defeat what is called the last line of security on the M1 SOC. MIT C-Cell found that the M1 implementation of pointer authentication can be overcome with a hardware attack that the researchers develop. Pointer authentication is a security feature that helps protect the CPU against an attacker that has gained memory access. Pointers store memory addresses and pointer authentication code pack checks for unexpected pointer changes caused by an attack. So I guess that's where Pac-Man comes in. In its research, MIT C-Cell created Pac-Man, an attack that can find the correct value to successfully pass pointer authentication so a hacker can continue with access to your computer. MIT C-Cell's Joseph R., who is the co-lead author of a paper explaining Pac-Man, said in an MIT article, when pointer authentication was introduced, a whole category of bugs suddenly became a lot harder to use for attacks. While Pac-Man making these bugs more serious, the overall attack surface could be a lot larger. According to the MIT C cell, since its Pac-Man attack involves a hardware device, a software patch won't fix the problem. Do you hear me, all you M1 owners out there? A software patch won't fix the problem. The issue is a wide problem with ARM processors that uses pointer authentication, not just Apple's M1. Future CPU designers should take care to consider this attack when building the secure systems of tomorrow. Developers should take care to not solely rely on pointer authentication to protect their software. Apple announced the M2 chips at its WWDC keynote last Monday, which is a new generation that succeeds the M1 series. An MIT representative confirmed that Macworld that the M2 has not tested this flaw. So the M2 has not been tested for this flaw because Pac-Man requires a hardware device. A hacker has to have physical access to a Mac, which limits how a Pac-Man can be executed. But as a technological demonstration, Pac-Man shows that pointer authentication isn't completely foolproof and developers shouldn't completely rely on it. The MIT C-Cell plans to represent the reports, so it's going to be reports coming out on this. Pac-Man is the latest security breach discovered with an M1. In May, researchers at the University of Illinois, Urbana Campaign, and other universities, Tel Aviv, discovered this augury flaw. Last year, developer Hector Martin discovered the M1 miracles vulnerability. However, these flaws has been deemed harmless for right now are not a serious threat. So all you M1 owners out there, just be careful and just be aware of the patch that cannot be fixed for the point of authentication that drives the CPU crazy. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Tech News. Thanks.